How's it going guys? Devin here from American Aquarium Products. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I want to do a short talk about the GH minerals of fresh water and then also the difference between GH, the importance of GH compared to a water change. So once you come to know what GH is, you might have the thought of, well, maybe I'll just replenish my GH, it's important, but I'll just do it by a simple water change. In today's experiment, I have three aquariums filled up with just roughly the same amount of water and I want to simulate basically adding oxygenization into the aquarium. So as fish food, uh, fish waste builds up in the aquarium, this is an oxidizer. Three aquariums here, and we'll simulate doing a water change. So let's go ahead and do a water change on this one. You can see here, taking out about half that water, and we'll replenish it with fresh water. So then the new water has been added into this aquarium, and let's see what happened. So the idea here is that we took out um, half of toxins, half of any type of buildup that's in the aquarium, but really on the chemistry level, what not a lot of people know is that you're replenishing some ions in your aquarium. You can think of your aquarium as a car battery and it needs to be recharged. When we do a water change, we are doing a manual charge. Okay, so now let's see this on a fast acting scale where we can see immediate results so a lot of people are used to using some type of water conditioner that will m remove ammonia nitrate nitrite um, prime is very common but look what happens prime is considered a fast acting reducer as in it reacts immediately and quickly and then also dissipates quickly and you could also then say well I should have added some prime into the water change tank and that could be true too but i want to show these elements separately and then the importance of what we like to promote here at american aquarium is actually having this chemical reaction from oxygenation to slightly reduce or in the process of being re reduced we like to do that constantly in the aquarium so not just relying on one water change once a week or even every day some people would do that every day or not even the other extreme where we would use prime every day or even in some cases drip prime to get a constant reduction. We like to find something that's in the middle, which we've come to know to be, um, we dose a powdered shell form of these electric ions, these reduction ions. And if we do this in a powdered form, we can control the chemical reaction of how long it takes. We want a slow reaction, a constant reaction. Normally we would add something called an AAP wonder shell into this aquarium. This would be right after a water change. And then I'm just adding powder here to show the, uh, having powder will interact a little bit quicker than having something to dissolve. But the dissolved shell form will sit in this water and over time in between water changes, start the reduction process. All right, guys, take a look at this process that's happening here. We got tanks of three different colors, and we did three different things to them. So down here, we've got just a straight water change, which is still struggling to even show any type of reduction. We use prime, um, standard dosing. And look what's happening with our last aquarium where we dosed some of those minerals. All right, guys, so that's the difference between water change, straight water change, relying on a water conditioner like prime, and then the benefit of using something like a mineral block with slow dissolving. You could have GH right out of the tap, but it's still a good idea to actually dose the GH mineral because then we know that we're getting that electrical charge. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Today's talk about GH minerals, the difference between a water change and why not, and why we just don't rely on a water change. I hope that was helpful for you guys. We will talk to you guys next time. Bye.